What is up, goons, gangsters, and gamers? It is your boy, The Good Sir Knight. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. And for those of you still with us, we're doing a review today on the Coyote, it was a Tactical Solutions, um, Stomp. Stomp pouch, Gen 2. I never tried out the Gen 1, but I wanted to look into the Gen 2. So you can see it back here. Mounts pretty effectively onto the belt, although it could be mounted onto a plate carrier. And we're going to be going over a few of the things involved with all that. So, this is an upgrade. Previously, I was using their, um, whatchamacallit, their old uh, burrito, which has a delicious name. So the burrito is really small, very simplistic. This is the, uh, was it like the Gen 2? They have a Gen 3 out now. But they're moving more towards getting this little um, medical IR reflective uh, cross and everything on there. So this was one of the older ones. You could put the Velker one. The new Gen 3 version has the little thing mounted on there in advance without any of the fancy Velcro. I don't know about the back. And then they also came with the Stomp too. So let's look at the Stomp and it's a slightly larger than the burrito. So I wanted to carry just an extra bandage or so. So that's one of the main reasons I moved over to this. So a few key things we're going to talk about before we even get started. I'm actually taking a good look at the Stomp. Um, first off, the burrito, what I liked was it was very simple and everything fit into a plastic bag, sort of like waterproofing package. However, it can get very tight and you could really have to Tetris some things in there and it doesn't always work out great, but I did like the uh, elastic loops down here for the tourniquet, which continues on with a stomp. Um, other key ways I've seen, I set up my IFAC, or other people have set their IFACs, is you got the uh, dangler pouch, which has been recreated in different iterations by other groups as well. This is kind of like an easy front of the plate carrier, throw in your medical supplies, don't worry about a belt mount approach. Um, the Blue Force gear, they do make a little micro trauma kit, but they also made a uh, larger one like this one here that I need to do a review on at some point. Also a different start, uh, little medical cross patterns located inside there. And this one can actually pop open and pull away, like so, and give you a little setup. I didn't, I didn't, great. Yeah, those, uh, those things also fall out like frequently, nonstop, so. I did like the concept of the elastic bungees, but I felt like it was rather limiting, so unless you have like very tightly packed gear exactly the way you want it to, it could be a little, little hit or miss. Now this one, I forgot there's still one more. There's also the, my buddy sent me this one. I didn't actually use it, the uh, Blackhawk version back when uh, Blackhawk wasn't uh, she, uh, putting out all their construction to like Vietnam and stuff. They had this little rip away, pop open that tab. Grab your red handle and rip away technology. Yay, cool, very unique. So, why the stomp? Also, um, Marine Corps IFAC, but that was back when you stuffed everything you could physically fit into your IFAC. I got something in my eye. <laughs> Stuff everything into your IFAC. So the stomp pouch has its little mounts and stuff. It's got a clip here. You hit the clip and you got your little handle right here. You want to pull the handle. With a little pull, the entire stomp comes out. You got a zipper thing. I actually got this thing packed to the brim. I could probably fit like a few more things, but not by much. Tourniquet sits at the bottom, similar concept, and then you got the zipper side. Now what I particularly like is when you pop open these zippers, you've got this crazy setup. So the hardware is gonna really depend on what you're using. Um, and of course, all this gear is useless without the knowledge, or hopefully someone else knows their medical stuff together. So you'll really wanna put in here stuff you know how to use, and again, Unless you're the actual medic slash corpsman, then you just need really basic stuff for yourself and all the more higher level challenging years of training stuff wants to go to that guy. So what's unique is you've got all these little laser cut slots and everything. So these are actually individual little slots here. You got all sorts of little holes and everything and you basically get a very long shot cord and a few little eyelet thingies to lock everything down. So. This is all on you to set up this. Either you have someone who knows exactly how to get this done and make something very, very pretty, or you spend half a day just trial and error until you get it set up to something you really like. So what I like is it's clean. It gives you a lot of uh, options to work with that you don't get with the elastic that was in the um, Blue Force gear setup. And you also got pockets. Around. I still got a lot of extra cording down here. That's just kind of like stuffed in there with the, uh, is that the, the chest seals, and up on the top I got the burn gel and shears. And of course you got your gloves, all your stuff. Whatever you really need can be stuffed in here. I got two uh, friggin' quick clots just because two is a nice number. So all the stuff you need gets stuffed in there, nice, pretty, and clean. And you've got your little drag handle here. So, and so yeah, it's a pretty unique setup. Another thing you can do, um, if so inclined, is if you end up pulling this or whatever, 
or you need to use your IFAC, or you're using someone else's IFAC, and they need to get me moved in the bit. As long as they got like a free, some free admin space, you can also like slap that on them just so their IFAC can go with them. And I've also heard people are, draw are one of the cool things that some people are doing is tying some uh, 550 cord onto this and then connecting that to some of your molly down here. So you get a bit of space to work with, but if they have to get moved, their IFAC moves with them. So cool concept and everything there. So that's just the main body panel. I think it's a very brilliant design. Holds a lot of stuff. The zippers are solid. Drainage grommet, because you always have to have a drainage grommet. It's the law, <laughs> effectively. And uh, yeah, so really, really solid setup. No waterproof bag, but probably relatively weather is the most of your stuff is in waterproof bags to begin with. So as much as I love my redundancy, that's probably gonna keep things a bit uh, more comfy. Of course, the tourniquet always just suffers. But we got a second tourniquet up here, so yay, go team. Anyway, I'm gonna pop off this bell. Actually, how much of this? Stuff do I got going on here? I think I could take a few of these things off. Me. I don't want to show you guys the bag and then everything with all these bags on me. And add all this extra weight and work and everything. So, if we pop the belt off here, like so, you can see here's how it mounts on. So, generally, this clip's closed. You can adjust the tightness of the clip. So, you got your retention band there so it doesn't go running away just from the Velcro alone, this will actually make sure you're not losing it if you're going through thick brush, thickets, or anything nasty like that. So, pop that free, there's your little soft side Velcro. It's um, comfy, I don't think you really rate the comfort of Velcro, but you know, whatever. There's also a laser cut up here. Now, you might have noticed that this similar laser cut pattern is also done on the Blue Force gear. Oddly familiar, mm. So, if you want to mount another tourniquet up there, you can. However, the main reason I've got this little kit on to begin with is that I can show you that this pouch isn't like banging into the lower plate or anything crazy like that. It's still low enough profile to stay out of your way. And I've got that mounted with the WT fix straps directly onto the belt. It's like what, uh, four piece? Yeah, so four across. So kind of like a normal average admin setup, but for medical gear. And to reattach, this is gonna be fun. Man, one of these days I'm gonna invest in a table and make my life easy. Just reattach it, Velcro, Velcro, easy peasy. Just get that set up to where it sort of lines up. I like to keep these uh, little, uh, little uh, zipper pieces up there. You whip that around and click. And you're back together, yay. So that's all that really goes into that. Um, oh yeah, I got, I need to do a video on that at some point in the future. So you take all that, and you just uh, put that back on there. Get your clip going. All right. And we're high pack back up. So as you can see, it's got some more some room to work with underneath the plate. It's got a bit less room with the uh, assault panel on there, but ultimately we got a pretty solid belt setup going on. So that's uh, that's really all that goes into the uh, into the stomp pouch. You can set up any way you want. You can put smarter, better gear in there, because um, my medical knowledge is relatively average with studying along the way, but for everyone who really knows exactly what to do, they're going to get really clean, really pretty setups going on in there, and for their whole team. And other people are just going to grab tourniquets made in China off of Amazon and stuff that in there and be like, yeah, that'll be all right. Don't be the guy. Don't be the guy, or you won't be the guy for very long. So. That's all I really got for you guys. I'm going to pop this off one more time here. Just in case you guys have any questions, this is what it looks like on the back. Most importantly, made in the U.S. of A. And without getting to a whole digression on uh, world economics, it makes me happy. It's not always essential, but it makes me happy. So, yay. I like it. Especially for life-saving gear. I didn't get the Velcro all the way on there. It's a bit canted. But yeah, so you got a bit of flex to work with. The, uh, it does come with the, uh, whatchamacallit, those freaking, uh, tactical tailor malice clips. But I think we're at the point now where we're really moving away from malice clips and these WT fix straps are a bit better. The malice clips are cool, but they are a pain to mount on belts, or really just a pain to mount on anything. And I always end up to, uh, to break them somehow through some, uh, background of mine. So, that's all I got for you guys. It's a very clean, beautiful looking piece of kit. And that's it. That's everything. Throw your medical supplies in there and uh, don't die. So stay shield wars. Um, don't get ventilated. 
if you do get ventilated, uh, have a plan. So, cheers, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. A button on here somewhere, right? Yeah.